Hi guys, today I'm doing a, another glossy box video and I know I do these every month because these boxes come every month so this is my sixth one I think I'm coming and ahhing whether to carry on this service I'll be honest with you I'm really torn between this actual box and this box is going to be the decider for me so I'm really torn about this box I'd appreciate if you guys left comments on how you feel about this I'll obviously tell you the things that are bothering me today but yeah, let's just jump into the box and see what's inside. And by the way, do you guys like my hair straight? I never straighten my hair, but I figured I'd straighten it because it was more straight than curly for once ever in my life. And also, I want to see how long it was actually getting. And it's actually getting pretty long, so I'm quite impressed. Anyway, on to the box. So, I can't even get the lid off. Duh. So the lid is off. Oh and these are already falling out so the sneak peek for next month spoiler alert everyone is a full size Lord and Berry crayon lipstick so this is how my box came and it doesn't look like someone's took the normal care and attention that they normally do with a glossy box it looks like they ran out of tissue paper and they gave me the dregs and who the hell put that bow just what the hell is this doing today I just can't even begin to tell you how annoyed this makes me because you got products poking out, you got shit going on, it just looks really crap and messy and horrible. I don't pay for this service for it to look like this. I like it when it comes it looks all neat and tidy because I am a bit of a neat freak and I have a little bit of OCD I think. So this annoys me right here. So overall my first opinion of this box was what the but we will see. So, shouldn't be hard to pin this back today because there's no tissue paper in there. Because someone just decided to have a joke with me. So, first things, I pull out uh, these. I'm going to put the box down for this. So, there's actually like, there's actually six things in this month's box, which is quite a lot. And I think that most of them, if not all of them, are full size other than these. So you've got three or four full size products. But anyway, these. Dove, okay, I'm cool with that. Advanced hair series, I'm cool with that. Youthful Vitality, I'm cool with that. For aging hair, are you kidding me? Like they know how old I am because you have to put these sorts of things in, I'm sure. I'm sure they are aware that I am not 90 and have aging hair, like, I don't know, I might just use these and see if I like them but I certainly don't have ageing hair and I have dyed hair so I like to use dyed products on my hair, not anti-ageing products. This really bugs me because I feel like these are a product that aren't for me, they haven't tailored them to my needs and I've had this problem with a glossy box before, I think it was a January one, everything was for dry skin and I have combo to oily skin and as do most people I think or they have normal skin but either way they really miss the mark sometimes and I feel like these they've obviously got sent a batch load from Dove so they've gone here have these have these to everyone not everyone has aging hair just so they know yeah this bothers me I don't know why I think it's because they're implying I'm old and I'm definitely not old. I don't even look my age. This bothers me so much. Does this bother other people? I don't know. I don't know whether I'm gonna use these. I might give them to my mom. I'm probably gonna give them to my mom. Not that my mom's old. My mom's still not that old to have aging hair. Why does this bother me so? But it really does. It bugs me to death. It is quite a generous sample size though. If you like aging hair products, but I'm just gonna leave it there and let that sink in that I apparently have aging hair. What is aging hair? I don't even know. What does that mean when you're old and you have a perm? Is that aging hair? I don't even know. What do you guys think is aging hair? I've never heard someone say that hair is aging before because hair is dead anyway. But anyway, on to the next product which is a nail polish and this is by NCLA Los Angeles 
and this is a luxury nail lacquer and this is in the colour I only fly I only fly private okay all right calm down and this is kind of a peachy orangey summery colour I do actually quite like the colour I haven't tried this out obviously because I've just got out of the box so we will have to see I mean I like the packaging but we'll see how it goes I don't know it's a really stinky one though some of them like some nail polishes aren't that bad another thing that bothers my OCD to tighten this up properly the lid is wonky the lid is wonky this is 15ml so this is a full size product yeah and this is apparently this retails for £13 this formula better be insane for £13 that's crazy but anyway we'll see how that goes and then the next thing we have in here is by Sleek this is actually probably one of the few things that I've got in a glossy box where I've actually known the brand normally the makeup brands are brands I've never heard of and this is the Pout Paint Highly pigmented lip stain. Let's try and get this out. Yeah. I feel like packaging is the enemy in life. So this is what it looks like and it is in the shade Minx. So it's kind of a nice neutral colour. So this is this is okay. I will probably use this. It's quite small. I wonder whether it's meant to be kind of like a OCC lip tar sort of thing. It's just bubbling out. It's not giving me product. Oh. This seems really weird. It seems it seems a really oily product. Like I've just pumped it out and half of it's not the actual colour. Hmm. So that's the colour of it. It's actually a really really nice colour. It smells of chocolate orange that's actually really nice and really cool I really like that I've not used a proper lip stain before I don't think so I'm interested to actually see how I like this I'm not sure whether it's gonna be a matte finish it doesn't say I would like it to be a matte finish although I would err on the side of it not being simply because when I did pump it out it did have quite an oily thing with it so yeah, but I do really like that colour. It's a really nice neutral pink. Nice. I like that. I like that. This is why I'm so torn with this box, because there's some things in here I really like the look of and some things where I'm like, whoa, whoa, what were you saying? What were you thinking? And then we have two more things, which are also full size. And I'm going to speak about the mascara first. This is by Essence Cosmetics and this is the Lash Princess Volume Mascara. Can we get Essence in the UK? It's not a brand that I've really seen anywhere, so I'm not entirely sure. But this is really bulky packaging. Does anyone else think that? I mean, it looks a bit tacky, the packaging, and it looks a bit kind of like, oh, I don't know. But this one looks really interesting. So I'm not sure what essence formulas are like for mascara because like I say I'm not even sure where to get it in this country but I'm really interested in this wand, it looks really, I'm really sorry about that, that's my phone and I'm really interested in this wand, it's a really cool bendy like curved shape and I have used curved mascaras before and I actually do quite like the ones with curved ones like the Max Factor Clump Defy and things like that the Maybelline, Falsies, Flared, etc. So we'll see how that goes. And I've got loads of mascaras now. We seem to have like managed to acquire loads of mascaras over the Christmas period and from then on. So I have loads of mascaras to go through. And then there's this, which is ne Neobe, 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 Natural and Organic Moisturising Peeling. I'm confused about this product. Does anyone know about this product? I did read on the sheet and it says to use this, it says apply to slightly damp skin and gently massage in a circular motion. We recommend very gently polishing it over the skin without applying too much pressure. Now I don't know whether this is a peel 
that you take off or whether it's just a moisturiser that has peeling properties that you leave on. I might have to look into this before I use it. Um, and this is actual wood. Like, I'm not kidding you, this is actual wood and it's really quite heavy. It's so weird. What? That's got to be expensive packaging just on its own. I'm not going to unseal this yet because I'm not sure about it. But I will look into this. And this is quite a lot actually. This is 100ml. And this actually retails for £13.71 um, on a website. Um, I think it's a Spanish website, judging by the uh, .es at the end. Correct me if that's somewhere else, I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is actually, like, as much as I'm really torn about sticking with Glossy Box, I think I might try Birch Box or somewhere, just because of the brands that they put out. But these boxes are definitely worth the money, because the boxes roughly work out to be about £10 or so each. Um, cheaper if you do longer subscriptions obviously and when you get products that are like worth £13 like there's at least two products that are worth £13 each you've definitely already got your money's worth with just two products so like I say I'm pretty torn about carrying on this subscription um, I don't know how long I've got to decide before it renews I might carry it on I'm not sure I might try a different brand this is starting to separate a bit weird I just thought I'd let you guys know look how weird that's gone We'll see how I get on with this one. I'll try it on my lips. But I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We will see. But that is the March Glossy Box. I'm actually thinking of doing a blog post about how to recycle Glossy Boxes and a great way to use the boxes because the boxes like, are really nice and nice and durable and sturdy and pretty. So it's a shame to throw them away. But you can't just hoard boxes and boxes right let's be real so yeah i'm planning to do some stuff like that hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all soon bye